What up boys and welcome back to another video. So this is like episode 7 or so of the uh, battered junk box openings. If you guys haven't watched the previous videos, basically you can farm these battered junk boxes by doing pickpocketing of well, a lot of different mobs, but I just do stockades uh, in order to get these boxes. And the only reason why you would do this is to get the black venom blade. It used to be like an extremely best in slot weapon for twinks, but it is one of the rarest weapons in the game to acquire. So uh, it obviously has a really, really high value. Now, it's not that good anymore because twinking has been changed. And now it's more about the hunt of getting uh, the item because <laughs> it is extremely hard. Like after this video, I've done like 2,400 uh, junk boxes, I believe. There's been some people in the comment section doing less than a thousand boxes and some people on the wowhead comment section who has done over 20 thousand uh, junk boxes so it's going to be interesting to see i did promise you guys that i would keep on doing this until i actually got the blade uh, but i'm usually a very unlucky guy so hopefully i don't have to keep on going until uh i'm at like 60 thousand boxes in 2027 you know uh, so before we go ahead and we start the opening, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide. And by using the code Shadowlands, you will get it for 50% off. So it's an in-depth guide, step-by-step, -step, that's going to teach you how to go from 0 gold and all the way to 10 million gold. The guide is also going to get constantly updated whenever a new expansion comes out. So if you've bought the guide, you get every single update for free. And also with Classic WoW uh, Season of Mastery coming out, you can get the complete gold guide for Classic WoW using code CLASSIC 50% off. Uh, but now we're going to jump into it, man. Like, it takes a while to do these openings. I'm just spamming my macro. And if you guys want to know what the macro is, it's just slash use and then the name of the item. It works for absolutely everything. It works for spells. It works for bags, chests, lock boxes. Just slash use and the item. And it will do exactly the same thing as you were to right click the item. So even if it's like a toy, you can do slash use and then the item. Regardless, if you guys have been watching this series, well, if you have it, you can click the, the playlist at the end of the video on top right here. And you're going to get to the uh, lockbox opening playlist with a bunch of these openings in them. Uh, but like in the beginning, I thought that there was only one blue item that could come out of these battery junk boxes. And that was the Black Venom Blade. Turns out that wasn't true. So I nearly shit my pants uh, like a couple of openings ago when I saw a blue weapon being dropped from the box. But it was like an Evocator's Blade or something like that. Pretty damn bad one. So after doing some research, it seems like there's two weapons that could drop. I had to check if there was more than two that could potentially drop. But uh, it doesn't look like it. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how many boxes this is going to take me i've now spent like in terms of hours i've spent six hours and uh six hours and 20 minutes so far doing these openings which i guess it doesn't really matter if i spend like 10 hours i get the blade i sell it to like a collector somebody that's messed up and they pay like a million gold it's 100k an hour but i feel like getting the blade in um uh, 10 hours is going to be tough Selling the blade for a million gold is going to be tough. It's more like a personal challenge right now to actually get the blade. Which I will. Like one day. I don't give up. I refuse. Even though I did actually give up on these boxes before. But I didn't make a promise that I would keep on going until I got it. But like many years ago I used to farm these with Realm Hop in Duskwood. And I did even did like a big opening of like 500 boxes. Uh, but after a couple of openings I, I just... I gave up, but I think it was due to like a new expansion or something like that coming out. So uh, things changed. And I just never really went back to it. But now things have changed. And I'm ready to get the box. The, not the box. The blade. Let's see. Taking these out is extremely slow. Blizzard need to work on that. Like mailbox. Like why does it take so long to take out items from the mailbox? And even worse... Like the guild bag? Have you guys been using guild bags lately? God damn, it's slow to uh, deposit and withdraw items from a guild bag. It's stupid. It's 2021. 
Okay. Let's see. I did actually have a really good lockbox opening that I uploaded not too long ago. The previous lockbox opening of like regular lockboxes was a really good one. And yes, I do love my lockbox openings. Well, opening up anything, actually, it's great, man. The RNG. Let's see. I, I think now we should go ahead, keep on opening. And one day. Very few people have guessed, by the way, like how many boxes I have to open up before I will get to Blade. We do have like a competition going. You guys guess how many boxes that I'm going to have to open up before I get the Black Venom Blade. And whoever is closest gets the big price, which you don't know what the big price is because, well, to be fair, I don't know what the big price is yet, but you guys are going to win the price. So we will see. This opening, I think uh, this opening was like 360 junk boxes, which if you do 60 runs of stockades, it takes like 20 minutes to do 10 runs. So 60, out, 60 minutes of effective farming. And you will have like 350 to 380 uh, boxes-ish. But with lockout though, it still takes 3 hours in order to actually do that. But I'm just counting... Um, I don't count like 10 runs of stock as 1 hour for this because I just... I go in, I farm for 20 minutes until I'm locked out of stock gates, Like for 10 runs and then I log off. And then I log by, back on whenever I can re-enter stockades. But normally, if I were to do like Scarlet Monastery, I always, always say 100 runs, 10 hours. Because after the uh, the 10 runs you locked out, you, you can't really do any other dungeon farms at least. And But a lot of the dungeons are like roughly an hour to do 10 runs. But not stockades, obviously. It's... Shortest dungeon ever. Let's see. 11 boxes left in my inventory. This is so bad. This is so bad. Like, why don't the shitty ring? That used to be a good ring. Blood ring. God damn. Okay, we got to take out more boxes. I still believe. 108 boxes left in the inventory. I can do it. I can feel it. It's going to be mine. Come on. One of these boxes, they got the weapon, man. I'm sure of it. Couple more. There was one guy who commented in uh, like three openings ago. He got the box on, I, th I think it was the realm was Outland. In less than uh, 400 boxes. Like, roughly the same opening as I do. Like, 350 or so. And he actually got the Black Venom Blade. According to the YouTube comment section, I'm not sure if he's fucking with me, though. Like, uh, maybe uh, everyone can type that. But if he's not lying, good for him. I'm jealous. Definitely jealous. As I close in on, like, 2,400 lockboxes. And probably a couple of thousand to go. Before I get the blade. That's the wrong mentality, student. Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm going to get it now. I will get it now. One of these boxes. Come on. It takes a while. Like nine minutes into the video right now. And we're not done yet. God damn. There's going to be very few people. Who still watched the video at this point, man? Let's be honest. <laughs> like nine minutes into it, when you check your like your YouTube analytics, you can you can tell like how long do people usually stay on a video, and the average watch time is usually higher on these videos, like lockbox openings and uh, junk box openings and so on. Uh, but nine minutes, no nah, man. Only selected few. My MVPs. Are watching the video until the end. Come on. There's very few boxes left. I'm such a clown for doing this. Biggest clown. This is torture. 
I also said many times, if you guys try this farm out, like farming the boxes is actually kind of fun. Because your bags, they get filled up so, like relatively fast. You fill up like all your bags, almost all your bags in uh, the 10 runs, which takes like 20 minutes. So you're seeing a lot of progress, which is, the farm itself is, it's a lot of fun. Doing these openings though, like knowing that there's nothing that's going to give you any gold, unless you get the Black Venom Blade. It's tough, man. And goddamn, five boxes left. Three, two, whoa. Another defeat, man. Feels bad. Six hours, 20 minutes in. 2,400 boxes, like ish. And still no Black Venom Blade. That, though, ladies and gentlemen, was the end of the video. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. And also the complete gold guide for Classic WoW. And I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.